What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Traditional classic recipes are some of my absolute favorite to share. You are going to love this throwback to a classic rice pudding. If this recipe brings back all of those wonderful childhood memories, then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my future videos. Now let's get into the recipe. A classic rice pudding calls for only four ingredients. 80 grams of pudding rice, 800 milliliters of full fat whole milk, 30 grams of sugar, and a couple of tablespoons of butter for greasing your dish. So first thing we're going to do is really simply grease our dish. I am just using a standard Pyrex dish for this. It doesn't matter the shape. Just make sure that it is large enough to hold your 800 milliliters of milk. So greasing it helps to make your dish that bit easier to clean, but it also adds another layer of richness throughout your rice pudding without being overbearing. Setting that dish aside, I'm going to go ahead and add my 800 milliliters of milk to a saucepan. And we never want to boil the milk. We just want to make sure that it is nice and piping hot and steaming. That activates all the sugars, the lactose in the milk, giving it a really nice sweetness. So as I mentioned, the rice that I'm using for this recipe is pudding rice, which is widely available in supermarkets nowadays. But if you can't get your hands on pudding rice, any short grain rice will do the job. The next step is super simple. Go ahead and add your pudding rice into your dish. Over top of that, I'm going to add two tablespoons of sugar, and following that, our lovely piping hot but not boiling milk. Give it a really good stir to make sure that none of that pudding rice is stuck to the base of the dish and that sugar has a chance to dissolve into the milk. Now I know this looks like an awful lot of liquid to be adding to such a small amount of rice, but trust me, and we will end up with that perfectly balanced rice pudding. This is going into the oven at 140 degrees Celsius fan, firstly for 30 minutes. After that 30 minutes, you'll see that lovely skin starting to form. Exactly what we want to see. But at this stage, we want to make sure that none of our rice is stuck to the bottom, is not coagulated. So we're going to give it a good mix through. And once everything is mixed up, I am going to put this back in the oven for a further burst of 30 minutes, stirring again, and followed by a third burst of one hour to one and a half hours, depending on your oven. So you can see it really is a long, slow bake, but it is worth the wait. And you'll know your rice pudding is ready when it looks something like this. No, this is not a cheesy lasagna, although it does look like it in this lighting. That is the delicious skin that has formed on top of your rice pudding, which is incredibly tasty in itself. This recipe serves four people and it should be served immediately or as quickly as you can. It is best piping hot, out of the oven with a dollop of jam. Be sure to get your share of this really quickly because I promise it is not going to last long. It didn't last long in my house. When I say it served four, I mean it really served two and a half because my mother definitely went back for seconds, maybe even thirds. <laughs> and that is it guys. A simple, classic, quick, no fuss bake that will take you back to your childhood days. I really hope that you love this recipe as much as I do. And if you give it a go, please don't forget to tag me in all of your recreations. I absolutely love, love, love seeing them. I am super interested to know what your personal variations are on this recipe. So leave them in the description box below. But before you go, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you get notified the next time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm looking forward to seeing you back on my channel really soon. Bye.